Hardtails, the Swiss army knife of the mountain biking world. The do-it-all, have fun, trail shredding machines can be a bit tricky when it comes to riding bumpy or technical terrain. So here's how to ride technical terrain on a hardtail. If you're riding really rough trails on a hardtail, as much as you might like to keep your tyre pressures quite low to get that sort of bump absorption from your tyres, it's a risky business. So I'm um, in some really rocky trails today. It's going to be a bit of a challenge on hardtail, and I know that at some point I'm going to slam into a rock. I don't mean to by mistake. It's just that sort of place where I can't avoid everything. So I'll make sure I've got really firm tyres. I've got my Vittorian Mazas, which are the trail build. So they're not the chunkiest. I could go for Enduro, but they're, they're the heavier build as well. So these are trail ones, pretty good, pretty protective. I have got an insert in the rear. So a Vittoria Airliner in the back only, just to give me that sort of uh, extra bit of reliability before any of these rocks could slam onto my rims, because I am running some carbon rims, FSA gradient carbon rims. So I want to be a bit careful. I don't just uh, smash those into rocks. And I'm going to run about 28 PSI in the rear and about 25 up front, I think, and see how we get on. Us here at GMBN can rave about hardtails quite a lot. Things like pump tracks and dirt jumps, they're just the best thing ever. And uh, Blake has done some pretty gnarly challenges on his hardtail, like riding the Mega Avalanche. And today, it's not the Mega Avalanche, but I'm in uh, my old local woods. This is Eastridge, and it's kind of an unusual place. It's not particularly steep. A lot of these trails on like a 160 mil travel enduro bike, whatever, you kind of forget about the bumps, but actually on a hardtail, you realize how rough this place is. This side of the hill particularly is really rocky and really rooty. And on a hardtail, you really have to pick your line choice and try and be smooth, because you'll be surprised how rough it is, especially on flat pedals. Uh, you know, you can find your feet bouncing around and having to readjust quite a lot. I know Blake, particularly for like the Magra Avalanche he did on his hardtail, he put clips on. So if you're riding really rough terrain, you might find that actually you might be better on your hardtail on clipless pedals. Uh, whilst these trails kind of don't look that tech, it's kind of like I said, it's so rough and rocky that once you're up to speed on any bike, they do start to get technical. On a hardtail, one of the big things I change up actually, uh, especially with flat pedals, is the cadence I run. So I like to run a lower cadence, so basically you know, pushing a bigger gear. So I'm not throwing my pedals around quite so much. It feels much more stable when you're pedaling over rough stuff and you're kind of bouncing and you know almost hooking up the back wheel on rocks and things. That if I'm, my feet are sort of spinning at a slower speed, it feels safer and easier to keep my pedals, uh, my feet on the pedal, should I say. If I'm really spinning fast and I hit something, it always feels like my feet can bounce off the pedals that a bit easier. So bigger gear straight away. And then I ride differently. I'm looking obviously for the smooth lines, I've kind of said that already, but also the kind of the smooth techniques. So this section here is just a little roller and you can jump and catch a bit of a downslope there. And it is, you do get a bit of a pump as you land, it's nice and fast. But as you can see here, there's like a really sharp rock right in the landing that on a full suspension bike, you could probably land on that and get away with it. Whereas I definitely wouldn't be as confident on a hardtail. I reckon if I catch that, there's a good chance I can either slip a pedal or puncture my rear tire. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is keep it on the floor, use a manual to get an extra pump and keep it nice and smooth. Man, it's fun trying to ride a hardtail and stuff like this. It's definitely a challenge and I feel like it's never gonna feel that good because it's just so rough. The line choice is super important. I mean, it is for any type of bike, but when you're in stuff like this in hardtail, if you get it a bit wrong, you could come off your pedals, you could crash. So I'm trying to, you know, pick a smooth line. If I can't find a smooth line, then I'm trying to unweight everywhere. This section is quite hard because you've got, you know, not quite a bike length. Or I'm coming through here, skipping over the worst one, and then I'm landing in rough stuff as well. Basically doing that because if I use my normal on the inside, it's a tight turn and I'm not going to have as much grip. On a full suspension bike, you'll definitely get more grip and it's quite loose there. So I'm sticking a bit wider. The alternative is to just go to the outside. You can see it's way smoother. It's just a long way around. So it's not going to be as fast, but there might be situations where you just compromise and think, well, actually, I'm just going to find the smoothest way down this track. 
think riding a hardtail is it's a bit like any other bike. It's got to play to its strengths and weaknesses. And on the rough stuff, it's going to be bumpy. It's not going to be as fast. And I'm running really hard tires. Uh, so I'm with that much grip, but I can hear them pinging off the rocks. So I know that I wouldn't get away with running them too much lower. But I could ride some techie stuff, head out on an epic ride, finish at the BMX track, and it's hard to beat a hardtail for that. So a lot of the technical riding I'm doing, I'm, I'm thinking about where I'm getting light to get over the rough terrain so I'm not slamming into it, but also where I'm getting heavy. I talk about this in a lot of skills videos, about making speed. So trying to pump the transitions to make the speed. This is actually where I learned to ride on a on hardtail a long time ago in these woods. And it just reminds me, I've not been in here on a hardtail for a lot of years. It reminds me how hard it is, but also how much I'm having to think about, like I said, where I'm going light, where I'm going heavy. Uh, and in the technical stuff, that's basically it. It's line choice and looking at stuff that I can't ride, it's too rough, and trying to either unweight or bunny hop over it, and then pick up most of my speed through pumping, because pedaling a hardtail through the rough terrain with flats is difficult and pretty risky. When terrain gets properly technical, like it's difficult, you've got to get your wheel placement right, or get it steep, like it is getting a bit steeper. It's not super techy, but a little bit. I think on a hardtail, actually, for the most part, it's it's no different. I don't think it's any harder than it is on a, on a full suspension bike. In fact, one thing I find is a little bit easier is kind of your wheel placement, because obviously you've got no sag on the rear end. It's a bit more direct. You know where you can pick it up and place it. You have a bit more of a feel of where the back wheel's going to go. On this turn, I did it a little bit. I just end load a little bit to get my back tire up around these rocks and onto this dirt. The things to be careful of on steep stuff, and we'll see it in a sec actually, is I just don't have as much grip, like I said already, and a couple of these corners are really loose. Whereas at the top of them, I'm fine. I've got the grip. Where I'm then dropping down to a ledge and it's loose, I've got to be careful because I could slide out. I think overall riding technical stuff on a hardtail is just completely doable. It's not really any harder than a full suspension bike. I think the only place I am careful is where it's fast and rough, because that's when you could get out of control. But for slow techy stuff, they feel brilliant. Uh, I do think wheel placement is really important. I have talked about that, kind of wheel uh, line choice, and then I'm waiting and waiting. But really, I'm thinking about where my wheels are, so I'm not slamming into these things. I might move, and you know, just the, the sort of margin for error, I think, is smaller, especially at speed on a hardtail and having a bit of um, mechanical sympathy because you are thrashing your bike hard in the rough stuff. And carrying some tubeless plugs, definitely I would recommend that because I've needed them today. Other than that, I think it's, you know, get out there on your hardtail and have a good time. Definitely have done myself. And I'm not finished yet. 